What's up guys, Mark here, back with another quick design tutorial. In today's video, I'm just gonna be showing you guys really quickly how you can blend your type behind objects in photographs. So you can see a couple of quick examples I've just whipped up. One's here, and another one here. And I'm gonna be doing another one for you guys now using this image of the Statue of Liberty. And uh, just so you know, all three of the photos that I've just shown were downloaded from unsplash.com, which is a free website. So let's get started. So I've got this photograph of the Statue of Liberty. I've just typed out the text in pink, uh, the word Liberty. So the first thing I'm gonna do is duplicate this photograph. So I'm just gonna click it, drag it down to the layer icon to make another copy. I'm then gonna drag the copy in front of the text. So now I can't see the text anymore. To make it a little bit easier to work with, I'm just gonna drop the opacity on this copy just so that I can still see where the text actually is on the photo. Okay, so for this one, I think I want the L and the Y to go behind and I'll have the E stay in front. So there's a few ways that you can do this. You can use the lasso tool or the, the pen tool and you can create a layer mask or you can do it the way that I like to do, which is using, it involves the eraser really, uh, and it allows you to get a little bit more of a nicer effect. You can get some softened edges and it looks like there's a, an actual drop shadow there like in the examples I showed. So the very first thing I'm gonna do is just uh, make a quick selection. So what I wanna do in this, in this copy is I wanna delete any parts of the image where I want the text to show up. So I can obviously get rid of these parts real quick, just make a quick selection around them and just delete them because I don't want any of that text to be hidden. So the next thing I want to do is just zoom in to this L here. I'm going to hit the eraser tool but what I'm going to do is make sure that it's set to a fairly low hardness so it's going to have a really soft edge. Um, I'll bump up the size a little bit more as well. And what I want to do is just start gently erasing where I want that text to show up. And the great thing about this, this uh, brush method is that it's gonna leave a really, really subtle kind of shadow so it looks like it's actually peeking out. Whereas if you had just highlighted it all and made a mask or deleted it with the pen tool, uh, it looks like a really, really sharp edge. So all I have to do is just softly erase along that edge a little bit, zoom back out and I'll bump the opacity back up real quick so we can have a quick look. And as you can see, if I zoom back out, it looks like it's just, there's like a little drop shadow there, which is achieved because I'm using the eraser. So I'll drop the opacity back down now, jump straight back across to the Y and do the exact same thing. Just erase all these bits. And what you can do is drop the eraser down a little bit as well. Okay, bump the layer back up. Cool, I think that looks pretty good. So you might be wondering why I erased parts of the, a copy of the image instead of the text. And the reason I did that is simply so that I could still edit the text if I wanted to. So I could change the individual letters in there or whatever as well. And the text will still work with the, with the effect. And yeah, so there you have it guys, super quick, super easy, you can do it in about 30 seconds. Um, obviously some images are a bit more complex than others. This one, for example, I had to erase quite a bit along the edges of the wings and stuff like that, but yeah, it's the exact same process. So I hope you found that useful. Uh, if you find the videos helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And if there's anything you want to learn in Photoshop, Illustrator, or even After Effects, feel free to chuck that in the comments and I'll get straight on it. Thanks guys.